to soap, huh? Get my drill. This should be a big enough bit. Woo! Now just gonna drill into this bad boy. Dude, the soap is making such a weird sound. It's like yelling at me. Now I gotta grab my money. $10 should do it. Roll this bad boy up. Okay, time to go in your hole. Oh no, it's not fitting. I think I need a bigger bit. Let's try this one. Okay, ready? I'm gonna fold it up a little bit tighter. Okay, now it should slide right in there. Woo! It worked! The only thing I could think of is like, how am I supposed to get it out afterwards? Okay, I'm just gonna shove it in there and hope that I can get it out. We gotta put some more soap in there, cover it up. Good as new! No one will ever suspect a thing. Woo! So! Now how the heck am I supposed to get this out? Maybe a nail? Woo! It works! I just have to carry a nail with me wherever I go. And also, I can't use my soap. Imagine you're just in the shower and you're like, Oh no, I have the wrong soap! Anyway, I guess we can say this one works! So first we're gonna need some soap, and then we need to cut it up. I had this idea where I would just cut soap for an hour, and that would be like the whole video. If you guys would like something like that, uh, let me know down in the comments down below. Okay, I'm gonna need something else to cut this. This ought to do it! Here we go! Oh man, maybe I have to strap it down? It's slipping off the soap! Maybe something like that? Okay, maybe that'll work. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> oh my god. This is so dangerous, kids. Don't try this at home. What else could I do to cut this? Maybe I could smash it? That seems pretty effective. gonna break in half. Ah! Oh, that ought to do it. Now put some of this in here. Okay. Okay, here's our molten soap. I'm gonna try and mix it up a little bit. Yeah, that's not too bad. I didn't even need 15 minutes. Guys, I decided I'm gonna become an ASMR channel. So here you go. Okay, I'm gonna mix some of the food dye in. Where'd I put it? One drop, two drop, three drop, four. Okay, that, that should be enough. Mix that all up. Woo! It's actually changing color. Yeah. It's nice and pink now. This looks pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm doing a pretty good job with this. So I don't have one of those molds, so I'm just gonna use one of those Tums bottles. Gotta take that out. Don't need those anymore. Then we're just gonna cut this in half. Oh boy. That ought to do it. We're gonna put our molten soap in there. Just go right in there. Okay, first layer of molten soap is all done. Yeah, that looks like it'll work. Now let's make the next layer. I'm just gonna put some of this already cut soap in here. Yeah, that should work. I don't feel like going all the way downstairs to microwave this, so I'm gonna use a blowtorch method. Here we go. Oh no, it's smoking. Please don't set off my fire alarm. Hey, if I do it like this, I'm so far away. It's melting it, it's perfect. Oh, no, no. Oh, oh man, I really don't want to set my fire alarm off right now. I guess I'm gonna have to microwave this. Okay, we're back and it's nice and liquid. Mix that up real good. Oh, it is steaming right now. So last time we added red, so this time I'm gonna add blue. That's so much food dye. Now mix it all up. Oh man, that does not look as good as the red. This is like a weird dark purple color. Actually, it's kind of cool. It's like turquoise almost. I'm digging this. There we go. Now we're gonna put it on our other soap, which by the way, is still actually kind of hot. Put that on there. Boop. Boop. This looks like it's turning out great. So I don't have poppy seeds, but I do have sea salt. So we're just gonna sprinkle some of that on there. Oh yeah, it's like a sea salt scrub or something. I don't know, dude. I'm not a beauty guru. What do I look like? Okay, now let's let this dry for a little bit. Okay, this monstrosity looks pretty cooled down. Now it's time to try and get it out of this thing. <laughs> uh, I have to do it without ruining this. Gonna break out my X-Acto knife. Okay, maybe like that. Uh, woo! It's coming out! <gasps> Oh my gosh, I have colorful soap now. Guys, I can't believe this actually works. I'm gonna give it to Tori and see if she likes it. Tori, I made you some soap. You like it? 
What is it? It's so. It's two different colors. There's pink color, and then there's blue color. And also, I put sea salt on the top for exfoliation. Oh, that's nice. What's the pink from, though? It's just food dye. It's just food dyed soap. Oh, so the pink is blue soap? It's How? pink and blue soap. <laughs> that's crazy. I made my own soap. I mean, you took soap to make soap, though, Robbie. But I still made my own soap. <laughs> I mean, I guess so. And that's sea salt, so you can lick it. And it'll taste really good. Yeah, but they also spit <laughs> 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 on your floor. Oh, it's so gross. <laughs> what you expect after you lick soap? Anyway, that soap's for you. You're a stinky girl, so that's your soap. You're not stinky. I'm just kidding. I love you. Thank you. I love you too. Here's your trip soap. Woo! It works. Well, soap transition. <laughs> Okay, so for this one, we're gonna need a balloon. We're gonna need to blow it up. Then we grab our phone and we just do this. Oh, it works! Wow! wow. The back is still a little bit blown up, but it works! It's kinda cool, actually. I'm gonna do it one more time. Maybe I can do it a little better. Okay, then we grab our balloon and we just. The only problem I could think of with this is you have a little flappy now. But I guess I could be kind of cool. You just kind of dangle it like that. Yep, it looks like it works. So for this one, I'm actually gonna use a monster can because I, I don't drink alcohol. Grab our tortilla, just wrap it in there, I suppose. And then put that monster in there. Grab some lettuce. This is actually my turtle's food. <laughs> then we just gotta wrap it up like that. Perfect, now no one will ever suspect that I am drinking a monster. Don't mind me, I'm just eating my dry burrito. So I guess we could say this one works. Here you go, little buddy, are you hungry? Eat the lettuce, Koopa, eat the lettuce. Here you go, you like it? Oh, he's eating! How cute is that? Sorry, Koopa, here you go. <laughs> Eat the leaf, eat the leaf. Oh, my turtle is so cute. Oh no, what happened? There you go, buddy. Eat the leaf, eat it. Attack it, grrr. Okay, Tori, are you ready for the massage of your life? I'm ready, it doesn't look like the camera pointed at me at all. It looks like it's pointed at my butt. Okay, Tori, the brand scheme. Let's see what the first massage is. Lay down straight. Yeah. You never lay down Ow. correctly. Okay, so the first thing. Be gentle, because I hurt. Movements should be light and smooth. Yes, light move. The torso, do up like this. So I do it like this. Do the light. Oh, light. So light like that. <laughs> You're not even touching it. <laughs> no, it hurts. Is that good? Do you like it? No, it hurts. Like that? Yeah. Okay, it's good. Yeah, that said to go down like that. Do you like that? It's good? It's good. I think this one works! Why okay. do you sound like cowboy music? Because they're naked cowboys. Oh. No. Okay, so this one, it says do this. How's that? Is that good? It's not bad. You can do it a little bit harder my lower back. <laughs> Is that good? Oh, yay. Is good? We screw a little bit more that way. No, Thomas is the way. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas, can we screw a little bit more? <laughs> no, don't leave. I want to pet you. No. Denied. Okay, now you have to lay straight. Okay. You like it? It's very nice. I think this one works. And then it says that I gotta get my elbow. Oh, no, it's gonna hurt. So it says I gotta get my elbow, no, and then I gotta do that. <laughs> so I do like that. Does that feel good? I don't like this one. You don't like this one? No. But it's good. No. I'm rubbing your back with my elbow. No. It's good. It's good back massage. No. <laughs> you don't like this? I do. It hurts. It says that I gotta do it from this angle. So I kind of grab her like that, and then I do her neck like that. Do you like this one? Oh, really. Why don't you like this one? It is touching my neck. <laughs> Toy, come on, no, I'm trying to rub your neck. No, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to give you a massage right now. Toy Nebraska, I'm just trying to give
give you a massage. This is a tickle massage. It's so good. It says I have to do this for four to six minutes. So are you ready for four to six minutes of this? Oh, that's awful. <laughs> Okay, so I do it like this, and then I go like that. Stop, go back, I need to do this. This is my job as a professional massager. <laughs> I'm a good massager, see? Toya, do you like this? Not really. <laughs> Can you pull my pants down? They look stupid. <laughs> no, I need to see your legs. Can you screw it up a little bit? So I gotta massage the legs by doing this. <laughs> Does it tickle? No, stop. I'm just trying to massage the leg. I don't like it. That's weird. No, okay. this is how you massage the leg. It's not bad. And I'm gonna tickle her. <laughs> Sorry, no, I need, to, I need to massage that leg. <laughs> Okay, based on that one, I'm gonna say that that one didn't work. Tori, you're not being very cooperative. <laughs> I, I guess this is enough massages for Tori right now. This one looks pretty simple. Get our tin foil. Cut, 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 cut. And then I gotta make it big enough to fit my phone, huh? I'm gonna use this tape. Huh, maybe I should have put it inside of this thing actually. Oh no, the tin foil stuck on there. Oops, get out of here. Okay, and like that. Dang it! Maybe like that. Yeah, that should work. I'm gonna cut it down a little bit. There we go. Now we gotta add our glue. Okay, that should be enough. Now I'm gonna let that dry. Okay, it's all dry. Uh, let's try and peel this off. Uh, maybe I should've used wax paper for this? They used tin foil in their video. Yeah, I totally just checked. They used tin foil. What the heck? This is so hard to get off. Maybe scissors? Ugh, I hate the sound of cutting tin foil. Okay, so we're left with this little piece. I gotta cut the tin foil off like this, maybe? Razor? Man, this is such a pain. Imagine like fumbling in the dark and being like, oh, one second, I'm gonna make a light diffuser with my glue gun in the dark. And then I'm gonna cut it off using this box cutter in the dark. Like why else would you want one of these? Would you just come prepared be like, oh light diffuser? I'm gonna need that for a, a time when I'm it's good. It's dark and I need that for a very specific situation Oh, well, okay put all that off to the side bring in our phone. Okay. Now we got to make it dark Woo! It worked turn on our flashlight. Where's our flashlight at? Is there no flashlight app on this? Oh here it is turn on our flashlight. Oh, no, that's way too bright. I can't stand it. Here we go It kind of looks cool. It's like a little uh, rock thing. I don't know I'm gonna turn the rest of the lights off and that's what it looks like. I mean, I guess it looks kind of cool It's not bad. I guess it would be good I guess for like when it's dark and you don't want it too bright most phones come with the setting to turn your flashlight app down So I don't know why that would be like such a big thing. I guess if you have an older phone So I don't have a Coke bottle right now, so instead I'm gonna use a monster can. So we just get our phone and the rubber band. Let's do that. Oh boy, I hope this doesn't break on me. Please don't break on me. Please don't break on me. Woo! It worked! Oh, you can see behind the monster can. Look, it's on selfie mode. That's what we look like. That's us! Okay, anyway, flip that around. So the whole thing with this is that it's supposed to be like a tripod. So that's kind of cool. Okay, take a picture. Woo! Take another picture. Yeah, I guess we could say this works. Okay, so it looks like we're starting out with some soap. Now we gotta start cutting this baby out. Ugh. Oh no, that doesn't look right. Uh, okay. I'm trying, okay guys? I really am trying. It's not really coming out as clean crystal-like as it was in the video. So now we got our soap parts. Let's throw these in this cup. Yeah, sure, I'm sure that, that works. Now to melt down our soap base. Okay, now how the heck am I supposed to put this in here? Maybe I should have opened the package before I turned on the stove. Of course not, that would have been the smart thing to do. Oh man, this is so slippery. Well, I mean, I guess it is soap. How the heck do I break this open? Oh man, oh. Uh, maybe that'll work, maybe a little bit less. Come on, break on the table. I'm getting soap all over my camera now. Well, I mean, at least it's getting clean. I found a knife. Oh my God, that is so much easier. I should have done this from the beginning. Oh, okay, we got my soap cubes. Do this again. Okay. Start throwing our soap cubes in there. I should have really read the instructions first. Remove soap from container, pull sides from the soap, air seal, invert, depress base. 
Okay, what? 30 seconds on high, 10 second intervals needed. Oh, in the microwave? Oh no. I wasn't supposed to boil this? I mean, it's working, so does it really matter? Is soap explosive? Caution, melted soap is hot. Well, no freaking duh. Cooking it like Jiffy Pop. I really should have grabbed something to mix this. Oh well. Okay, it's almost completely clear now. I just have a couple little chunks left in there. Ooh. Everything's so slippery now. Ooh. Oh, that looks pretty good. Okay, now time to pour this in our mold. Okay, here's our base. Ooh, oh no! It's boiling over, it's boiling over. Please don't melt the cup. Please don't melt the cup. I feel like it's still gonna melt the cup. There we go. <gasps> it's melting the cup. It's melting the cup. Oh no, oh no. What do I do, what do I do, what do I do? Do I just leave it? Do I just leave it? I'm gonna go get another cup. Oh my God. Here's another cup. Just in case it melts all the way through the cup. We have backups. We have backups on our backups. I put two extra cups on here. Okay, now I have soap all over my countertop. Well, I mean, at least I don't have to use soap to clean it. Uh, <laughs> okay, so uh, while I'm cleaning this, I'm gonna let this dry. I will see you guys in 40 minutes. Okay, ah! Okay, it's all cooled down. Now time to cut this bad boy open. Dude, look how much that melted the cup. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're just gonna cut this bad boy. Woo! Whoa! Okay, that actually kind of looks cool. This part doesn't look cool, but this part looks cool. Okay, now let's cut it into a crystal shape, shall we? Ooh, there we go. Okay, wow! Okay, so I guess uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say it works! This is my new soap now. I'm going to use this to clean myself. Okay, so here's our book. Here's our meltable chocolate. Now all I need is a butterfly picture. Okay, butterfly picture. Perfect, this one looks great. Oh no, it's putting out way too big. Okay, let's try this one. Yeah, that's way too big. In the trash. That good? I feel like even this one's a little too large. Scrap it. Maybe this will work? Okay, I'm counting on you to work this time. Oh my gosh, yeah, that looks like a good size. Okay, now that we have this bad boy, uh, let's go ahead and cut it out. Put it in like that. Yep, looks good. Now we need to melt this down. I actually got tired of uh, going to the stove downstairs because you guys always complain it's messy. So I went ahead and bought my own little portable one. Cut that right there. I've never used this before, so let's hope I can actually use it. Oh yeah, that looks fancy. Yeah, not bad. How am I supposed to use this? Um, Maybe I should read the instructions. Instructions, watch it go. Okay, danger. Using it in an enclosed space can kill you. Well, that's scary. It looks like I'm not using this. We're gonna go to the stove downstairs and you guys can deal with it, okay? So according to the packaging, apparently this this is like a microwavable tray thing. So we're just gonna put this in here for one minute. Okay, let's see how this is looking. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> wow, that's actually really melted. I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up with a spoon. Or better yet, a strawberry. Oh yeah, that looks, that looks really good. Oh, my spoon! Oh yeah, that's why I call making your cake and eating it too. That's some good stuff. Okay, now we get our parchment paper. Cool, cool, that looks good. We have to transfer our chocolate into the Ziploc bag. Oh man, I hope I don't get this everywhere. That should be enough. Yeah, that's, that's looking good. Let's get this bad boy over. I think this has to be towards the middle of the book, actually. That, it doesn't want to stay down. I'm gonna tape this book down because it doesn't want to do anything. It doesn't want to stay. Stay, book. Ah! Man, I'm a mess. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and cut the tip. Okay, no! Okay, this is gonna be harder than I thought. Oh my gosh. Oh no, this is so messy. No! I thought I was gonna be able to do it way nicer than this. Ah! Okay, dang, that's awful. <laughs> I'm gonna try to do it on the other tip. Maybe I can make it a little finer. Yeah, we'll just put that off to the side. That's where that lives for now. And here's the next one. Should we put tape on this as well? I don't know. Just gonna put a little bit of tape because this is not staying down. Oh my gosh. What a mess. Ah, come on. No. I'm trying, guys. I really am trying. Okay, so I'm gonna cut the tiniest little tip on this one. We're gonna try this one more time. You got this tiny tip. Did I make the tip too tidy? <gasps> It's working! It's like I'm 3D drawing with chocolate. Honestly, they make this look so easy in the video. It still doesn't look very good, but I mean, it's better than the last one. And uh, I mean, practice makes perfect. You can do it. Ah, it's leaking out. Oh no, I'm almost done. Yeah, that definitely looks a lot better than my last one. See, this is the first one. That's the second one. And now this is all over my hand. Okay, now I need something to put underneath each side. I guess I'll do like this tape right here. No, I need you to fold in half like that. No, I got chocolate on my tape. This is bending chocolate. It'll bend hearts and uh, this thing that I have created. Come on, you can do it. Get in there. Okay, now we gotta wait for it to dry. I'm gonna go wash off my hand because this looks gross. Okay, it's been uh, a sec, so I'm gonna go ahead and try and... Oh no, it's already broken. Ah! 
I was so close. These are very, very delicate. Maybe this one will come off more clean. Come on. <sighs> okay. Oh my gosh. Ah! No, I broke it. I broke off a little wing right there. So this side uh, isn't turning out too bad. Very, very delicate. I couldn't seem to get it to hold like the V shape. Okay, yep, that's uh, that one didn't work. What about this bad boy, our first one? I mean, it is a blob, but will it stay together? I don't know. Oh my gosh, it actually worked. I think it just needed to be a little bit thicker. This one's definitely holding its shape. Chocolate butterflies! I think if I would have done this one like that, it would have probably held its shape a little better since it's a little thicker. But I'm gonna go ahead and say that this kind of works. If I had more practice, I'm sure I could get it like 100%. Let's try it. Oh yeah, that's not bad. Man, I'm gonna gain so much weight after this video. <laughs> Okay, so for this one, we have another freaking tennis ball. Now, I don't really want this thing to hold my toothbrush, so I, I'm gonna use it a different way. But either way, I gotta put a slit in this thing. So I guess we just stab it. Ugh, come on. Ugh, this is so dangerous. That's so scary. It just bounces. What if I hit my finger? Oh my gosh, that's that's awful. Maybe scissors will do it? Ugh, okay, I did it. <laughs> it made a little fart sound. Come on, I need to cut you a new mouth. I think it needs to be a little bit bigger. Okay. Woo! Woo, it does it! Hello! Hello! Oh, you got some in your teeth there, buddy. Let's break out our hot glue gun. Okay, I'm gonna let this thing heat up. Okay, glue gun's all heated up. Now it's time to add some googly eyes. Uh, let's put water right there. Honestly, googly eyes just make everything better. Oh, glue gun fell down. Oops. Woo! I'm gonna let that dry on there for a sec. I'm gonna blow on it to try and make it dry faster. Hey! Why are you blowing on me? Oh, I'm so sorry, sir. I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's okay. I'll be on my way now. Nope, I have to drill you into my wall. Oh. A world built by imagination. Okay, are you ready? Open wide. Wait, wait, why? I just need to fit this in your mouth. What? I don't want it. Yeah. Come on. What is that? It's a screw with a bottle cap because I couldn't find a washer. What? Why are you doing that? Because I'm going to screw you into my wall. What? Okay, get in there. I, huh, it looks like it will be a lot easier if I make a hole in the back first. What? <gasps> okay, flip you over and here we go. Ah! I feel like that's not the right spot. You just drilled that hole for no reason? Yep, pretty much. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh no. Here you go. Oh, that wasn't so bad. Okay, now open wide again. Are you ready? Oh, oh. Yeah, that one wasn't so bad either, I guess. How does it look? Uh, it looks pretty bad. Oh no. Well, here you go. Okay, now we're just gonna drill you to the wall. One, two, and open wide. Oh. There we go. Okay, and uh, now you're stuck there. Oh man. Okay, so what do I do now? Okay, so your job is uh, to hold this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, uh, oops. I guess we can say it works. Woo! Okay, so first we need a ball. Yeah, that ought to do. Fill it with ice. Get some cold water in there. Crap, got it all over the floor. Yeah, that should do it. Here's our water. Put that off to the side. Now it's time to paint my nails. Here we go. Oh no. It's dripping all over. Maybe I should have like mixed it a little bit. Paint, paint, paint. As always, I am doing a wonderful job on my nails. As you can see, I am the best nail painter in the world. Almost done. Okay, so now that we've done an awesome job on our nails, it's time to put them in the cold water and they'll instantly be dry. One, two, and... Oh, that's so cold. How long do I leave these in here for? Okay, it says for one minute. I really hope that I don't lose my fingers from frostbite from doing this. Has it even been a minute yet? I don't know. I'm sure it has. My fingers hurt. I'm taking them out. Okay, how are we doing? Are they dry? Actually, these look pretty dry to me. They feel pretty dry, actually. They're like not bad. I'm touching them and nothing's coming off. Well, it looks like I'm gonna have to say if this works. Okay, so we got our bowl, we got our cake mix, Coca-Cola, awesome, we got everything. Huh. So it really says to not add like eggs or anything. That's so weird. I would have thought you had to add eggs. Oh, don't explode, don't explode, don't explode, don't explode, please don't explode. Be good. Okay, there we go. Now we add our cake mix. How the heck am I supposed to open this thing? Uh, uh, come on. There, haha. <laughs> There's actually a bag inside. Oops, gonna... Oh man, I got that everywhere. Okay, get in there. Woo! <laughs> 
<laughs> oh man, I should have gotten a bigger bowl. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more Coca-Cola. Should I be scared? Like, is this actually gonna explode on me? Yeah, I definitely should have gotten a bigger bowl for this. Okay, now let's break out our Mistatron 5000. Okay, this is definitely not a bad idea. Did I add too much Coke now? Oh my god. Okay, I'm getting another bowl. This is exactly why I don't like doing cooking videos, because I always have to do so many dishes afterwards. <gasps> I forgot to wash my hands. Oh my god, that's so gross. I'll be right back. Okay, hands are now nice and clean. Let's proceed with the transfer. Oh, I almost spilled that. That's scary. Let's put that over there. Uh, then let's mix it up. Oh, it's flying everywhere. Dude, this cake is just screaming diabetes to me. Just gonna put some more Coke in there, just for a good measure. I gotta say, this looks like very, very fluffy cake mix to me. Also, I don't have a cake pan, so it looks like we're making cupcakes. I also don't have any cupcake lighters, but uh, Google said that I can use this, and we'll be fine. So let's hope Google's right on this one. I'm gonna go ahead and put a lot, that way I know that uh, it won't stick. Okay. Oh, that is very thick. My goodness. Here we go. Oh, I think I may have put a little bit too much oil in here. Oh my gosh, okay. Mix a trot 5000, I need your help. Oh, that works so well, actually. Come on, get out of there. Something tells me that this is an awful idea. Mmm, tastes pretty good. Should I actually make the other half? Oh, why not? I need to finish mixing all this stuff then. I'm making such a mess. Okay. Spray the other side. Yep, these cupcakes are definitely gonna taste like oil. Oh my gosh. I use so much oil. Come on, get out of there. Don't be scared. Okay, and it looks good. What's it say? I gotta preheat the oven too. So we have pan size and bake time. Um, it doesn't say, <gasps> there's one for cupcakes. Oh my gosh, I'm not that dumb. Okay, uh, 18 to 21 minutes. I like how it was like, do all this stuff. And we're like, nah, we got Coke, it's fine. I just need to see what I'm supposed to preheat my oven to. 350 degrees. I should have known, that's a standard. Okay, 350. Now let's grab our cupcakes. Toss that in there. Well, I guess I'll see you guys in uh, 18 minutes. Oh no, I'm supposed to wait to heat up the oven first. Uh, I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay, I'll see you guys in like 20 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take these out of the oven. Oh, did I burn them? Oh man. Okay, uh, we're gonna go ahead and let these cool down a little bit and uh, we'll see if they're any good. Hey Chris, you want a cupcake? Sure. How's it taste? Okay, actually. It doesn't have any eggs or milk in it. All right. That's literally just Coke. It, it like, doesn't taste bad. No, I like it. Pretty good, man. So, you think it works? I guess we could say it works. Okay, we grab our phone cord, grab our magic marker, wrap it around. Put that together real tight like that. And just to be safe, I'm gonna tape it on. There we go. Just like that. Okay, cool. Grab our hair dryer. How long am I supposed to do this for? I'm gonna let this sit. Stay there! I wonder how long I'm supposed to do this for. I have an idea. There we go. Okay. Now I'm gonna let this cool down for a little bit and let it kind of take its shape. That should be enough time. We're gonna take this off. Okay. Let's see if this works. <gasps> wow! Oh, it doesn't quite go all the way back. Uh, okay, now it's basically the same cable. <laughs> if I just do this, it'll be straight again, basically. I mean, I'm gonna say that this one doesn't really work like how you think it would work. So, uh, I I'm gonna say this doesn't work. Okay, so I just made this actually, but I didn't turn on my microphone so you guys couldn't hear anything I was saying. Uh, here's a little time lapse of me putting it together. Here you go.
So it's not very good if you're actually trying to watch a movie or anything like that, but it, it does kind of show a fuzzy picture. And dude, who would have ever thought? I didn't think it would work. Okay, so this one looks pretty simple. All we gotta do is grab some clay. Just uh, gotta grab a big old chunk of it right there. Let's make a big one of these. Just make it big like this. There you go. Yeah, okay. And we're gonna roll into a ball. Oh man, how did I forget how to roll something into a ball? Am I doing this right? I'm pretty sure. Rolling, 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 rolling. Okay, yeah, that's looking pretty good. Not bad, not bad. It's like a little dough ball, like a little pizza dough ball. Then we just gotta put it in like that. Just do a bunch of these. Like one right there, one right there, one right there. Okay, there's another one, and another one, and another one. Is this enough? I feel like it's just gonna tighten when it's drying, so I'm kind of making them a little bit looser than they're supposed to be. I think that's how clay works, right? Yeah, that looks pretty Pretty good. I feel like I should decorate this with something. I think it needs some glitter. Okay, just get this glitter and how do I? Okay, so I need to pop this thing open. Come on. Uh, uh, Why is it not popping open? Okay, now I need you to open. Uh, uh, that was way harder to open than I thought it would be. Oh! I feel so dumb. It's because there was this thing on it. Oops. Okay. I uh, got that figured out. Now put some sprinkles on it. Yeah. Okay, this is looking less cool than I thought it was going to be. Maybe I should redo this whole thing. No. You know what? That's too much work. We're fine. So now we have this. Get all this stuff out of here. Okay, and then we're gonna cut the random parts off like that. Okay, there's another one right there. I'm not sure what the point of this is, but you know, it's fine. Probably just to hold your pens. We're gonna remake these holes because I feel like these are not coming out correct. This doesn't look as cool as it did before. Wait, how'd I come up with two new holes? Okay, something's wrong here. I'm remaking this thing. Get in here, other clay. Starting from square one. Got one here. Got one here. Got another one here. Here's another one. Cool, cool. And the last one. Make sure all these can escape. Okay, it's looking pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry now. This is actually air dry clay, not baking clay. Uh, it says right there, no baking. Dries hard. So I'm gonna trust your word on this Crayola. And I will see you guys when uh, this is all dry. Okay, here we go. Um, it seems to be... Pretty dry. Now, gonna pull these out. Woo, they're not stuck. Okay, that kind of looks cool. Now we got a little pen holder. Okay, dude, sick. Pretty hard, pretty rock solid, if I do say so myself. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and say this works. Okay, the first step, we need a pickle jar lid. Awesome, perfect. This pickle jar lid is everything I could ever hope for. Then we get our hammer, and we get our nail. I actually have a screw because uh, I don't have any nails on me. <laughs> okay, so then we just do this. Okay, one down. Oh man, I've made all these little holes in my desk now. Oops. Okay, and this is what it looks like. I put all the holes in it. Now I have to screw this in it. Yeah, just to get it started. I'm just gonna go ahead and screw that in there. Oh. Oops. Come on, you can do it. I believe. You know what I need to do? I need to break out another drill. Well boys, I'll see you on the other side. Woo, we did it. Okay, now let's try and get this bad boy in there. Oh, it's working. Oh. Oh no, that's not, ah! Okay, I need to figure out a way to make this not move. I'm just gonna use some duct tape. Duct tape solves all my problems. There we go, maybe another one right there. Put one over it just to be fun. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that'll work. Okay, now here's our box. Flip it over, punch a hole. I'm gonna put this thing in just like that. And we get the drill bit on. There we go. Okay, it looks like it's working so far. Let's go boil some sugar. I hope that this is enough. It's probably more than enough, knowing me. Add a little bit of water, just like it said. Then we just kind of mix it up. I feel like I need more sugar, so uh, whatever. Does that look okay? I can't tell. How long am I supposed to do this for? I'm just gonna let this keep kind of boiling a little bit. I'll be right back. I think I may have added a little bit too much water. I had to move my camera up because the lens is actually getting really hot from the stove. When is this gonna be done? I'm guessing maybe this is done. I'm not really sure. Well, let's go ahead and test this baby out. Just like that. Oh man, this can't go wrong at all. Here we go. I'm just gonna go ahead and... It's not coming out. Oh no! How am I supposed to do this? Ah, no! Did I not boil it enough? Ouch. What the heck did I do wrong? Ah. Oh, that's hot, 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 hot. Okay, so I think I'm supposed to do it while it's still really hot like this, so. Okay, let's try this. So here's our thing, and here's our, oh god, this is so dangerous. Okay, there's that, now let's try it. Ready? It's just spraying molten sugar everywhere. 
Am I supposed to let this cool? I'm so confused as to what I'm supposed to do. Oh, it still smells like pickle juice. That's so gross. I need to figure out like what consistency this needs to be, I think. Okay, this looks more brown, kind of like how it did in the video. And it's a little bit more syrupy. Maybe just a tiny bit longer and then we'll do this. Okay, let's try this again. There we go. Woo! It's working! Oh my god, it's actually working! Oh, it did for a second. Uh, maybe I did it a little bit too much, but it did for a second. I saw the strings. Now I just have a bunch of sugar. Oh, man. <laughs> Look at this huge mess that this thing's making. But it's for science, so it's okay. Well, it looks like I can't seem to get this one to work. So I guess uh, I'm gonna say that this one doesn't really work. <laughs> what was I doing wrong? I don't know. Okay, so first we gotta get our ice cream. I got a rainbow fat free sherbet. Then we get our scooper. That looks very dirty, but it's not actually that dirty. I promise you. Oh, oh it's beautiful. Oh no, it's so hard to scoop this ice cream. It's garbage. What am I supposed to do with that? I'm gonna go ahead and. Yep. Oh, now I gotta use my hands to get it out. Roast. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have picked a blue cup on this blue background. So the video we watched, they used a lighter, but if you guys know this channel at all, we don't do things that simple here. That's why we're breaking out the blowtorch. Yeah, I got the bottom of this spoon nice and hot. Oh yeah. This is gonna boil the ice cream when it touches it. Okay, that looks like it's hot enough. You can actually hear the ice cream boiling off the other side right now. Okay, now let's try this. You ready? Oh, perfect. You can actually see some of the steam coming off. There we go. So much better, except the ice cream's kind of melted down. And it only lasts for one scoop. Oh, actually? It's good for that scoop too. And now it's hard again. So I guess we could kind of say this works. I think I'm gonna go ahead and give this ice cream to Tori. Gotta grab her a spoon. Get back in there. Perfect. Tori Nebraska. I got some rainbow ice cream for my rainbow girl. Is it actually safe to eat? No, yeah, it's safe to eat. I just scooped it with the flaming spoon. Really? Is it on fire? Does it taste good? Yeah. Hey, pretty good. It's strawberry proof. So here's this pan. I actually use this to melt wax, and I could never get it all the way out. But maybe this toothpaste will do something. So we're just gonna put it all in there. Yeah, there we go. Get a bunch of that toothpaste in there. Oh, yeah. yeah, that should be enough toothpaste. I'm gonna go ahead and scrub it. Rinse it out. Oh my freaking gosh. So guys, it looks like it actually works. <laughs> Wow! There's like no more wax in there. I've been trying to get that wax out for months. Well, not months, probably about a month. But anyway, I guess we can say this works! So here's our marker, here's our tape, here's our phone. Let's begin! Flip this bad boy over. We're gonna put this over the flash part, just like that. And then we're gonna write on it, just like that, using the blue marker. Cool. And we're gonna put another layer on, just like that. Write on it again, using the blue marker. We're gonna do another layer. Boom, just like that. I'm using the blue marker again. Yeah, this looks simple enough, right? Now let's try this bad boy. Okay, so under a normal black light like this one, things tend to glow. For instance, this guy. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the lights really quick. Do you see how this guy is basically getting really green and really bright because of this black light right here? This is what a black light should look like. Now I'm gonna take this away for a second. Okay, now let's try the flashlight on my phone. Yeah, I don't know about this one. He doesn't seem to have the same glowy effect as he did with the actual black light. So I don't know if this one actually actually works. I even have the brightness on my phone all the way up. Yeah, he doesn't seem to have the same brightness as the regular black light does. So, unfortunately, guys, I'm going to have to say that this doesn't work. Oh man. Okay, so here is my headlight. As you can see, it's pretty foggy. See? Pretty freaking foggy. Now we're just going to add our magic Coca-Cola and uh, we're going to see what happens. Please don't explode. Please don't explode. Please don't explode. <laughs> Don't explode, don't explode, don't explode. Okay, cool, we're good. They did it just like this. Oh my gosh, it actually looks like it's getting clearer. What? How? How? No way. That, no freaking way. What? Let's do it before, and this is after. Dude, okay, so it looks a lot clearer to me, so I'm gonna go ahead and say it works. So apparently this eraser can clean this dirty phone. Yeah, so this phone has uh, some fingerprints on it. Let's see if uh, this uh, actually works. Hmm. Uh, oh my gosh, this is so smudgy. Look at that. There's like a weird film on this now. Oh gosh. Maybe it was something on the eraser? Thank 
get everyone who said bless you during this video. Okay, we'll try it again. Uh, yeah, I don't know, that doesn't really look much better. Okay, I'm gonna try just breathing on it. Maybe that'll make it better. I'm gonna use my beanie to clean it off. Yeah, that didn't really make it much better. I'm gonna have to say that this doesn't work. So it looks like the first thing we need is some cardboard. Oh yeah, that should do. I need to cut a circle. Ugh. Oh man, come on. Woo! Okay, we got our circle. Don't need this. Oh, there we go. We're supposed to put a little hole in the middle. There's our hole. And it looks like we need eight slits here. So one, two, three, four, four five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, cut this weird little part off. There we go. Okay, we got eight slits now. It looks great. This is exactly how it is. Okay, I found my string. We're just gonna take some of this out right now. Let's choose uh, three of the best colors. So we got pink, we got blue, and yellow. You guys seem to really like these colors, so uh, that's what we're doing right here. Oh wait, I need eight colors. Oops. <laughs> uh, let's see, what else can we do? We could put some red in there maybe. Some orange. Maybe. Ooh, this blue looks pretty. Let's do this blue. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I need one more color. Seven. Okay, so seven colors. So this right here. Do -do -do -do. So one right here, one right here. Oh no. This string's all messed up. Oh man, what did I do wrong? This is gonna take forever. Okay, we got that one. So one, two, three. Now for our pink. Four. Uh, okay, we got all of our colors. Putting all these bad boys together. Okay, it's looking good. This kind of looks just like a big cluster of colors right now, but that's fine. Go ahead and straighten all these up. Put it through this. Hole. Here we go. I don't know how long I'm supposed to do this. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it like right here. Okay, now where the heck did my tape go? Okay, let's go ahead and tape this. Boop and boop. And there we go. It's all taped. One is going here. Another one's going here. And now we're gonna put this one here. And this is gonna take so freaking long. And then we have one open right here. So apparently, we're just supposed to pull this one and then put it into the new one. And then we go over to this one and then we put it in the new one. And we just keep doing this until it's all filled up. This is gonna take so freaking long. I'm just gonna do a time lapse of me doing this because this is probably gonna take hours if I'm being totally honest. Here we go. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, it looks like I gotta pull this over a little bit. So this is what it's looking like so far on the bottom. Uh, I'm feeling like I didn't quite do this right. Well, better keep going. Am I doing this right? Oh, I just noticed. I'm supposed to do two, not every other one. So I'm supposed to grab it from over here and put it over here. Oh no, I have to start all over. <gasps> That's why this doesn't look very good. Just snip that off. Luckily, this is as far as I got before I noticed. Well, time to start all over. Okay, so every other one. So one, two, right here. One, two, right here. One, two, right here. Okay, yeah, that's definitely already starting to look better. Boop, boop, boop. Ooh, making some progress here. So close to being able to fit around my wrist. So I gotta keep going. It's getting kind of hard because these are getting kind of short. Oh no, come back. Okay, this thing's starting to fall apart. So I'm guessing this means that it's about done. Maybe like that. Aha! And we got our bracelet. Now I just gotta figure out how to tie this onto my wrist. Okay, how the heck am I gonna do this? Um, hmm. just kind of tie it on like that, maybe. I should have left more on this side, I think. Maybe like that, and then I'll try to fit my hand into there. Fit this thing into there. This is a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, so I had to use my teeth, but I think I got it. Okay, that is very loose. I think it would have looked a little better if I tied this bad boy. Maybe I'll just cut it. There we go. We got ourselves a brand new bracelet. Well, I guess we can say it. Works. This one looks simple. Ooh, got some chocolate on me. <laughs> okay, this one looks simple. All I need is some mint leaves. But first I'm gonna put this parchment paper down. Here's our mint leaves. Take some of these out. Looks like a decent sized one right there. So let's put that one there. One mint leaf. Oh man, this smells really good actually. Here's another mint leaf. Here's another one. And another. Yeah, that do it. Now let's uh, start putting some chocolate on these bad boys. One down. Ah, come on, you can do it. Oh my gosh. There's so much chocolate on here. So much chocolate everywhere. Oh, this one's not open. I'm sure it'll still work. Work, though. At least I hope. Oh, that's like a perfect glob. Last one. And yeah, this looks great. Now I'm gonna throw these bad boys in the freezer. Oh God, I can't open this thing. Okay, in you go. And I'll see you boys later. Yeah, these are looking pretty solid. 
Okay, these don't look like they turned out too bad. Now I gotta try and take them off the leaf without breaking it. Wow, that is so easy. That looks kinda cool, actually. Some of the mint is stuck inside the chocolate, but I mean, there's nothing wrong with eating some mint with some chocolate. That one's not bad. Ooh, they're gonna come off this one. Oh, that comes right off. Look how cool that looks. That's so neat, actually. Whoa! Oh my gosh. Can you see that? Dude, you can see all the, like, uh, little things in the leaf and stuff. That's actually really neat. So we got two for two. They're a little funky, but that's fine. Third one. Oh, that one didn't turn out too bad either. Wow, dude, that's kind of cool. And here's another one. This was a funky leaf one. That one kind of turned out okay. And here's our last two. Dude, that looks so neat. Not bad. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and say that this works. It looks like it's time to have some fun with some tennis balls. Oh, there's a little pop stop. Whoa, that was scary. <laughs> That's so dangerous. Why would you have that on there? Perfect! We got so many balls! <laughs> and I got this cool tube. I can keep them in later. I don't really need it right now, though, so we're also going to need some tape, get our balls, and then we just tape these bad boys together. Okay. So we got to tape these balls together just like that. Really got to get in there with these balls. Go around like that. Oh my gosh, this is way harder than I thought it would be. Okay. Yeah, that looks like it'll hold it together. Now I got a perfect back massager. Let's try this bad boy out. Oh, okay, yeah, let's try to do some yoga, boys. So we put our thing right here. It looks so long. Okay, now I have to roll on it like, like that. Oh yeah, that feels great. Oh, oh. It's all wrapped up in my shirt. Oh. My shirt's choking me. That doesn't work out. What am I doing wrong? Okay, oh, ow, this hurts. Ow, ow, ow. Oh. I don't like this at all. Oh, okay. uh, I'll try it one more time for old time's sake, but so far, I'm not really liking this. Center of my spine, and then I'm just gonna, like a crab walk, but I'm rolling on my back. Yeah, oh, oh! Oh my gosh. Yeah, I can feel the knots popping. Are not supposed to pop, it's wrapped up in my shirt again. So my verdict is, I don't think that this works very well. <laughs> I'm gonna have to say that this failed! It bounces though. Okay, so let's get our toothpaste. Now we need to get rid of this cap, cause oh no, I lost my cap. Don't need that anymore. Then we're gonna get our industrial glue gun. And we're just gonna put it all over this bad boy. No big deal, see? Yeah. This looks like it's gonna be a great cap. I really hope this doesn't damage the toothpaste, cause I kinda need this for the rest of the video. Oh no, I accidentally squeezed out the toothpaste. Oh man. Okay, so we got it all over there. Oh no, it's dripping. Oh no. We're gonna let this cool down a little bit, and uh, I will see you guys in a bit. Okay, that looks like it's been cooled. Uh, let's try and take it off. Oh no. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh. Did it melt onto it? Oh no. This is not looking too good. Yeah. Oh shoot. Oh. I think I may have just ruined this tube of toothpaste. Okay, yeah, that's not looking too good. Did I do this right? It looks like I did. Well, there's our cap. Um, it doesn't look like it's gonna hold anything in the tube, see? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that didn't work at all. So I guess we can say that this doesn't work. Oh well. <laughs> Okay, so here's the patch I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and put it right here on my backpack. Right here, maybe? That's gonna cover it, though. How about we put it right here? That looks like a good spot. I'm just gonna flip this over. Yeah, right there. Then we get our hair straightener. I went ahead and set it to 430 degrees. That's how hot it goes. Now, uh, let's try it. I feel like it's just gonna end up burning the patch, personally, but I could be very wrong. Okay, here we go. I think it might actually be working. It seems to be staying on on this side. Is it working? I don't know. I'm gonna hold that down nice and tight. Make sure it's straight. Oh, I mean, it's very hot, but it doesn't look like it's staying on so far. Maybe I gotta get it hotter. Do I, am I supposed to let it dry afterwards? Oh, that's very hot. I'm gonna go ahead and use this oven safe glove to kind of help hold it down a little bit. Does the instructions say to let it cool down? It kind of looked like it just like made it good afterwards. Ow, frick. My finger. Wow, that seems pretty good. I'm just gonna go ahead and let that cool down and we'll see if it works. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes and this is looking like it's on there pretty good actually. Like it feels like it was almost sewn on. If I really wanted to, I could completely pull it on, but I feel like it's it's pretty much as good as the patch is gonna be. This is really good. So I guess we'll have to say this works. Okay, so I feel like this one's actually kind of wasteful, but uh, here's our fire pit. Let's set a fire, boys. Now we gotta set the fire. Now we light it. Is it gonna light? Why isn't it lighting? Is this water or something? Is it, isn't there supposed to be a big dramatic like boom? 
Oh wow, actually, yeah, that is getting pretty big. We better put it out. Oh, 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 oh man. Okay. Ah. Okay, guys, we better put it out. Oh. That got all over me. Ah. Okay, that shouldn't be burning. I beat it. Put out the fire. So I guess we can say it works. I tried this one before, but it didn't work because the glue gun that I had, the nozzle was too small. But guess what, guys? Now I have an even bigger glue gun, and the nozzle is nice and big, so the string can actually fit through. First things first, we put down the parchment paper, then we get our foam. Whoop! Good, good. Then we fit it to size. Take it like that. Come on. This parchment paper is just a little too good because tape just never wants to stick to it. There we go, just like that. Looks good. Now for the part I got hung up on last time. Move that off to the side, get our bigger glue gun. Up the tip of this one a little bit, and we're gonna put the string. Yeah, I have a good feeling about it this time. I'm gonna clip off some of the extra string right there. Now time to load this baby. Ooh, something's coming out already. Now I'm gonna do this until some string comes out. You got this glue gun. It's not coming out yet. Is it gonna do it? Okay, come on. Look how big of a pool I've made. It's still not coming out. I'm trying, guys. Come on, string. Oh, oh the string's pulling. Is it coming out? Hmm, I have another idea. I'm gonna try drilling it. It seems to have cracked it a little bit, but uh, I don't think that's a big deal. It went all the way through. Ugh, pulling out the old one. Okay, now I have to try and get this through here. Oh, uh, let's see, what can I do? Maybe I could just get the drill and then just uh, do this. Push it through. Ugh, that didn't work. Mm. Oh man, what else can I do? Maybe if I snip it in half, and then I get the zip tie, and then I just kind of push it through. Nope. Need this little screwdriver. Okay, get in there. Come on. It just doesn't want to go through. Hmm. This is so hard. Maybe if I do this, it'll grab it. Whoa, it actually worked. Okay, snip that. Let's cover the tip in glue. Ouch. Okay, now let's try this again. I really hope this works. Oh my gosh, I finally burned myself with the new glue gun. I'm gonna let this dry and then I'm gonna cut it like that. Maybe with the string being centered, that'll help. I don't know. Okay, I let this cool for a little bit. Now I'm gonna cut this so that it's exactly in the middle. Yeah, that looks like it's in the center. Load that in there. Okay, let's hope this works. How are we doing? It's coming out yet? Is it gonna do it? I don't think it's gonna do it. Oh, come on. Dude, I've gone through so much glue. I'm gonna load another one in there. Dude, I am going through so much glue and there's no string coming out. I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. Why isn't the string coming out? Oh, oh, it got a little harder. Is it gonna work? Is the string coming out? I think it might be getting clogged. Oh, I pulled the string out and now it's all coming out. Ow, just clamp my finger. Okay, load even more glue in there. Okay, so I bought an industrial glue gun and this still didn't work. The tip is pretty wide and I don't know why this isn't working. So I'm gonna have to say that this whole thing just doesn't work. Also, I just wanna point out, look how much glue I wasted. Oh my gosh, that's like four glue sticks right there. Okay, so here's our bubble wrap. We don't really need this whole thing, so uh, let's go ahead and cut this down a little bit. Yeah, that ought to do it. I put it on this book. I hope I don't regret this later. And get our chocolate and just kind of put it on there. I feel like I'm definitely doing this a little too thick. Oh my gosh. Okay, so here we go. Spreading, spreading, spreading. Dude, this is gonna look so weird. I hope this actually works. Then I'm just kind of wasting all this chocolate. I'm sure it'll work. Five Minute Crafts has never lied to me before. Let me put a little bit more on there. Okay, that should be good. Uh, let's throw this in the freezer. <laughs> Here we go. Dedicated just to this craft. Let's turn this up a little bit. Yeah, that ought to freeze in no time. I'll see you in a sec. Goodbye. Okay, it looks like we're all good to go. Okay. Doesn't look too bad. Let's remove the book. Now I have to try and take it off of the bubble wrap without breaking it. Uh, this is gonna be the hard part, I think. Or it might be super simple, I don't know. Oh yeah, no, that's definitely coming out really easily. Whoa, it looks like a honeycomb or something. Dude, that is actually really cool. Break that off. Dude, how neat is that? Whoa, okay, so I guess we can say this works. Still tastes like normal chocolate though. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!
Okay, so we got our Pringles can. All we need really is the top though, so. Perfect! Uh, don't need these anymore. I already know, so many of you guys are probably bad at me for doing that. Let's see how good these chips still are. Oh, that does not sound good at all. Yep, they're all broken. Oh, actually, I mean, some are broken. I mean, they still taste fine. Okay, so anyway, I wasn't sure what size mug to grab, so I grabbed every single mug in my house. So let's just start testing all these. Uh, no, mm, uh-uh. Oh, no! That's a no-go. This one I already know is not gonna work. <laughs> What about this one? Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh. no, no. Okay, you're the last hope. It doesn't fit. What about this one? Nope. Okay, so out of all these mugs, this fits none of them. Okay, so first off, let's get some parchment paper up in here. There we go. We don't need this hot glue sticking to everything. There we go. Yeah, that should be more than enough. Now we get our fork and kind of just dip it in there. Um, I think we might have a little bit too much. Yeah, okay, let's start all over. Okay, so just barely the tip. Just the tip. And that should be good, uh, I think. These little pieces uh, are extremely long, so I'm just gonna go ahead and let these um, dry for a little bit. Maybe blow on them. <laughs> Pull these bad boys off. Okay, I don't need this anymore. Now we're gonna go ahead and get my girlfriend's, I mean my palette because I'm the beauty guru here and I know what I'm doing. Uh, and then we're gonna do this. Get it all, uh, all over there. Oh shoot, am I ruining this? I feel so bad right now. I feel like I'm messing this up. Yeah, so just a little bit of makeup. Okay, uh, looks good. Let's put this bad boy on our face. Okay, time to give myself some freckles. Here we go. Oh gosh, these do not look good. Kind of scary. I'm just kind of poking myself in the face with this fork. Yeah, I'm not really digging how this looks at all. Maybe that'll help. Dude, what the heck is up with these freckles? These freckles don't look very good. <laughs> Do I look like a ginger kid yet? Oh my gosh, look at this. I don't know if I have enough freckles, so I'm gonna keep reapplying these. Well, I'm gonna have to say this looks pretty good. I look like I have real freckles. I can't tell the difference between real freckles and these at all. Well, it looks like I'm gonna have freckles for the rest of the video. <laughs> I guess we could say that this uh, kind of works. I, I, I guess. It works, but it doesn't look very good. <laughs> Okay, so here's our light. Now we gotta break it. This is a very strong light bulb. Holy crap. It actually bent the freaking metal before it broke the light bulb. Oh my gosh. Okay, one, two. How is this light bulb so freaking strong? What the heck? One, two. This is a very impressive light bulb. I think it might be because it's like an industrial bulb and it's meant for really high and low temperatures. But it was the only freaking bulb I had. Maybe if we break out the old knife. One, two, and... Holy crud. Oh my gosh, it's actually bending the tip of my knife. This is an impenetrable light bulb. Okay, I'm just really gonna go for it. One, two. Oh my gosh. How? I did not think it would be this hard to destroy a light bulb. One, two, and... Oh no, I broke in my light bulb. It's stuck in there. What am I supposed to do? I'm gonna get all these glass bits out because that's scary as heck. Look at that. Look how bent that is. That's how bent I had to make it just to get this freaking thing out. Okay, so now we have a problem. We can't get this out by pulling or twisting it. So what do we do? We get a bottle. And then we just kind of light this on fire, heat it up real good. Okay, then we put that in there. Let that cool a little bit. It's even twisting out already. Wow. That's cool. I mean, it doesn't stick to it like I thought it would, but it actually made it come out. Wow. So I guess we could say it works. Now I have glass all over my desk. Oh my gosh. Gotta clean this up. So I feel like I've tried this before, but you know what? Let's give it another go. So let's go ahead and write something right here. Here's our regular eraser. Not very good, let's try a different one. It's looking like it didn't erase very well, even with the regular eraser. Now let's try the rubber band. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap that around. Wrapping, 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 wrapping. Now let's give this a go, shall we? Oh man, that is making it so much, like, messier. Okay, yeah, that's very messy. It's uh, not looking too great. Does this pencil just not like to get erased or something? And here you have it. It looks like it did uh, a worse of a job than it did the actual eraser. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that this one doesn't really work that great. It kind of works, but it doesn't really work.
Okay guys, so for the whole second half of the video, I forgot to plug in the microphone all the way, so I have no audio from this whole video. And I already recorded the whole thing, so I'm not gonna record the whole freaking thing again, you understand? Anyway, I went ahead and I spent $20 on candles, so I already freaking did this video, and I can't refilm it, so uh, here's a freaking $20 candle. So we're gonna try to get the wax out of this jar uh, using this knife. Oh man, this is definitely gonna take so freaking long. Well, uh, I guess just enjoy me trying to get the wax out of this jar for the next 20 minutes. <laughs> I don't even know, dude. Oh look, surprise, surprise, I broke the jar. Well, uh, I guess there's nothing else to do besides uh, break it even more. Maybe I could get some of the candle wax out just by hitting the back of it. Bobby, what the heck were you thinking there? Okay, now it's time to Hulk smash. Uh. Uh, 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 uh. Oh no, I broke the tip of my knife. That's what I get for freaking stabbing glass. That's such a stupid thing for me to do. Uh, okay, let's break this thing open. Hulk smash! Smash, smash. Come on. Uh, open up. I needed it to freaking open up. Smash! Okay, that didn't work. You got this candle. Oh my gosh, this looks so weird. It looks kind of cool though. Uh, I gotta get this wick out somehow. Okay, now what the heck am I supposed to do with this glass? I'm just gonna go ahead and pop the little wick out. Uh, there we go. Slide out nice and easy and we have ourselves a wick a very blurry wick i'm actually gonna use the wick from this candle um so i just have to try and break this thing open come on you could just gotta break it just uh, snap come on get out of there just, oh there we go broke open that candle and now we have ourselves a nice wick that we could use for later and also all this extra candle wax now we have all of our melted wax okay here we go and now we gotta melt it so just for this occasion i knew that it was gonna take a long time for this wax to melt so i brought out my blow torch yeah, just melt the wax just like that. We're melting it for both ends. It's gonna melt in no time. Melting, 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 melting. You guys like my voiceover? I'm sorry my voice is so annoying. I wish that I had a better voice so that I could voice over things better. But, you know, I just don't know how to react to things that have already happened. Like, none of this is surprising to me. Looks like we got our wax all melted down. It's looking pretty good. That looks like some pretty freaking melted wax. And uh, it is getting all fogged up in my lens. Great, that's just great. Let's go ahead and try and add the wick. Let's put it in there just like that. Now we're gonna put all the wax in the bottle. Let's hope I don't drop this on myself. Ooh, that was a close one. Oh man, this is getting everywhere. Oh, oh, it shrank. Oh no. Okay, so since it shrank, I guess I'll just dump all the uh, stuff that we put in it back in there. Oh no, it's bubbling, it's bubbling. It's bubbling. This was actually really scary because it was just popping everywhere. The wax was literally popping everywhere. You see that? You freaking see that. That is so scary. It's like bubbling tar. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and let this cool down for a little bit and then we're gonna try it again. Okay, so it turns out that uh, you're supposed to actually put the wick in afterwards after watching the video. I feel kind of like a dumb boy now, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. But first, we're gonna put the wax inside this bottle now that it's cooled down a little bit. Put some of this wax in here. Oh no, it looks like it's doing it again. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, no. Yeah, that's definitely melting the bottom of it. Oh, man. Oh, no. Are we just gonna go all in? Is this the one where I go all in? I forget. I think it is. I think this is the one where I went all in. As you can see, uh, it melted the whole bottom and now just kind of shrank up. So, uh, I definitely think I'm gonna have to try this one again. As you can see, I was very frustrated because I had to do this three times and I freaking lost all the audio. So, we're just gonna pour that back in there and, uh, we're gonna try it again once it cools a little bit more. God, this bottle's so hot. Yep, that's a very hot bottle. It's melted the bottom. Okay, now it's our third attempt. Let's see if we can get it right this time. We're gonna go ahead and pour the wax in. I've let it cool for about half an hour now, so I don't think that the wax is gonna be so hot that it's gonna melt the bottle. So we're gonna keep going, keep going. Oh, so far so good. It's looking good, looking good, looking good. Yep, this is the one where I go all in. Keep going. Oh my gosh, it's almost there. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Do you believe that this black stuff is wax? That's so weird. It doesn't look like real stuff. We're almost at the top. We're so cool. Close. That actually kind of looks like real coke. That's kind of scary. Almost, almost, and top it off, and boom! Woo! It didn't melt the bottle. Now it's time to add the wick. Put that in there and drop it in. And this is where I kind of freaked out because I didn't have anything to hold the wick. <laughs> So I ended up using these skewers that will rubber band together from another video that I did and then I broke them off that way they weren't super long and I just kind of let the wick uh, chill there and that was that. So now we're just going to let it cool down for a little bit. Okay, so we let it cool and it's 
looking pretty good. It's looking pretty solid. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take the wrapper off just like this. Use an X-Acto knife, cut that off. Whew. Okay, now for the real fun part. I get to cut this plastic off without cutting off a finger. Okay, so we make the first incision. Keep going, keep going, keep going. There we go. And the plastic is kind of tougher than I thought. I'm gonna grab a different knife. So here's a different knife and we're gonna do some surgery here. Whew. Cut down the middle, cutting. Pull it, and we're free! Woo! Oh my gosh, look how good this turned out. It looks like an actual bottle of Coke. Does that fit back on? Nope, kind of, yeah. Wow, this turned out a lot better than I thought it did. It looks like I can't really fit the bottle cap on though, but that's fine, it's not a big deal. We're gonna be lighting this on fire anyway. Let's go ahead and put the wrapper back on. Wow! This actually looks like a real Coke bottle. Wow, this just turned out really good. So I guess we're gonna say it works! So I'm actually running out of chocolate to use, so I'm gonna go ahead and try and use this white chocolate. Ugh. Oh, my finger, ouch! Okay, put that in there. I'm sure that'll work. Man, why do I always do this to my spoon? Okay, now I throw this in the microwave. I'm sure it microwaves the same way that this chocolate does. Or I could be horribly wrong, who knows? Okay, good luck. I'm gonna go ahead and take this. I feel like that's not a good thing you're supposed to leave in the microwave. Put it on my disgusting stove top. And I'll see you boys in one minute. Oh, got chocolate on my microwave. <laughs> okay, how you guys turn out? <gasps> it actually melted properly, cool. I also gotta grab some sprinkles. Oh man, this looks so delicious. Okay, so here are our balloons. I'm gonna go ahead and blow one of these up. Yeah, that looks uh, that looks like it's a good size. Tie that. Cool. Bring this over. Mix that up one more time. Oh man, that looks so good. That's like marbled chocolate. Now we're just gonna cover the balloon in chocolate. Oh my gosh, yes. What the heck even, dude? Oh, this is gonna be so delicious. I just have to make sure that I do it evenly. Oh gosh. It's okay, get on there. Oh no, this is getting everywhere. <laughs> No, stay on. Oh my gosh, this is so heavy. It's all this chocolate covering the balloon. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be so good. Okay, now put this off to the side. I'm gonna get some parchment paper. Put that right there. I need a flat surface to put it on, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Get some more parchment paper. <gasps> no, it's stuck to the balloon. I always make such a mess. Oh my gosh. This looks so delicious. Oh, then I gotta put sprinkles on it. So let's try and put the, oh, frick. Just put sprinkles all over it. Uh, next sprinkles. Here's some rainbow ones. Oh god, they're everywhere. Oh, I gotta have my camera. Okay, cool. Yeah, that looks good. Dude, this looks amazing. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and put this in our freezer. I have to make sure I don't drop it. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is scary. I have to do a balancing act to get it all the way down there. Uh, now join your family. Okay, be good now. Okay, let's have a peek. Whoa. It looks like an apple, like a candy apple. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on this chilled plate that I have. I'll clean that up later. My goodness, this is a piece of art, I tell you what. Okay, yeah, this is gonna take a little bit of patience to come off. I'm trying really hard not to break this thing. Come on. And then if I touch it, the chocolate gets a little bit hotter and then it becomes more brittle. So I can barely even touch it. Oh my gosh, this is so scary. <gasps> no, I just made a hole in the bottom. Dang it, I'm so close. Okay, it's almost all out. Come on. No. Okay, it's almost all out. Oh, no! Okay, almost there. How'd they get the balloon to not stick? Okay, it's a little scary that there's some rubber in here now, but, um, you know, no big deal. What am I gonna do? I need to patch that or something. Yeah, it turned out pretty good, um, you know, except for this hole right here. You know what I'm gonna do? I'll be right back. Okay, let's add some ice cream. Oh, man. Rainbow sherbet! Oh man, I'm gonna need so much ice cream to fill this. Okay, this ice cream is really hot, so I'm gonna go ahead and break out the blowtorch. Oh, that's a little better. That should be enough ice cream. Next, I'm gonna break out some whipped cream. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh man, that looks so good. Then we're gonna add our little leaf thing. This one kind of is a fail, but that's fine. Let me get some of our weird uh, bubble wrap chocolate. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. That looks pretty good, actually. If you guys would eat this, tell me down in the comments down below. Next, I need to add a spoon. Boop and boop. Oh my gosh, this looks amazing. Tori Dabransky. I have a present for you. You want some? Oh, that is beautiful, Robbie. Oh my goodness. You want some? Yeah, I'm so proud. Oh. I mean, there's whipped cream on it, so it's a little gross. I know, but there's so much chocolate everywhere. Is it just filled with whipped cream? Oh no, there's ice cream in there too. Okay, I was like, oh no. Are you joking? Did you really put whipped cream on rainbow sherbet ice cream, <laughs> Robbie? Out of all the like combinations, you chose that one? I mean, this has a little bit of the leaf left in it. Does that just mean it's gonna be minty? Are the leaves actually still in this, Robbie? No, they're, no. Okay, that's good. It's good? 
Yeah. I'm actually really surprised. I mean, I do not approve of the whipped cream and ice cream combo, but like this bit's cool. Whoa! Oh, oh no, you have a little. I know, I have a little hole. Just nurse it. Yes, nurse. Nurse the ice cream. Is good? I was expecting it to be mint, but it's, it's I'm, <laughs> they're good. I really like the also little balloon bits. Oh, you gotta be careful for those. Those garnishes. are kind of scattered all inside of that thing. Can you clean it out first? Yeah. I did, I tried. Okay, well, I approve. This is very much, I wish I had different ice cream, but I approve. So you think it works? It looks like you have ice cream on your lips. Oh, I have, it's chocolate. Oh. Aw, it's there forever. Well, I'm gonna have to say it works! I have to destroy this somehow. I have to destroy it? Don't you want to eat it? Okay, I'm gonna destroy it. Ready? No, not in my room. No, no. I'm gonna eat it. Oh, no. I got it. Wait, wait, let me put it in your face. No! Yeah. There's spoons in there. I'll take the spoons out. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh. No, oh, I can't breathe. It's in my nose. <laughs> Did it work? Oh, it's so good. Let me grab a little bit. <laughs> Mmm, this is some good stuff. Well, I'm glad you enjoy it. No, no, take it back. You, uh, I don't you want enjoy it. your sleep. I don't want it. I'll see you no, later. No, here Goodbye. you go. Goodbye. <laughs>Okay, so now we're just gonna step on this ball and apparently it's gonna feel amazing. So here we go. Oh yeah, that's great. So it feels a little dangerous though. Maybe I should be holding something while I do this. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, I'd say this is a great foot massage. Yeah, this isn't bad. I mean, if you're into that kind of thing. I'm gonna do the other foot. Yeah, sure, I, uh, I guess we can say this works. So for this one, I'm actually wearing makeup on my nose, so uh, let's go ahead and wipe that off really quick. So this is my makeup up nose, uh, you know, very porcelain-like, very clear, very nice looking. And now that's all about to change, guys. Oh man, look how dirty that is. Let's keep going. Okay, and this is it. This is my nose. It's kind of red. A lot of pores in it, as you can see. They're all very clogged, kind of gross. But you know what? That's my nose. That's how it is. Yep, there it is. That's my scar that I got when I was five years old, and that's why I always look this way. Anyway, let's break out our toothbrush. This looks pretty familiar, right? Oh, the good times that we've had with this bad boy. This should be fine. Scrub it. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Perfect. Looking great, as always. This stuff does get a little bit dirty, I will admit. I think it's cleaning it. Get all up in there. Until next time, my sweets. So we got our toothbrush. We got our toothpaste. Put this bad boy on my nose. Uh, uh, yeah. Getting right in there with that toothpaste. Right in there. It's getting really deep. Not too deep. Yeah, that's looking, uh, that's looking pretty good. I wonder how long I'm actually supposed to do this for. It's actually kind of starting to hurt. Probably until my nose just looks better. But what if it never looks better? Does that mean I just keep going down until my nose is messed up? Okay. I'm just gonna wipe some of this off and, uh, we'll see if it works. So I got all the toothpaste off and my nose. My nose looks about the same. I feel like there's no hope for my nose. My nose is pretty bad. Like, look at all these pores. So uh, I'm gonna have to use my expert beauty advice and say that this one doesn't work. So this is the Adventure Mobile. And this is the new and improved Adventure Mobile. I got this bad boy off of a guy on Craigslist. Let's hope I don't regret that. So here's our tire, here's our toothpaste. Put that underneath there. Now let's see if it'll get every drop out. Tori, start the engine. Okay, go forward. Oh, that's backwards. There you go. And it looks like we got all of it out. Woo! Tori, here, you need this? No, Tori, stop, you need to stop. Stop, stop, Tori, 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 stop. <laughs> well, I guess we can say it works. Do you want to brush your teeth now with this? No. Here, put it, put it in your mouth. No, put it, put it in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Gross! Such a cute girl. So here's our bowl, here's our baking soda. Put that in there. Yeah, that looks like it'll be enough. Can we put some warm water in there. Ooh, I think I might have put a little too much. Is that up? Yep, I definitely put too much. I'm just gonna put a little bit more baking soda. Because, you know, you can always fix things by adding other things to things to fix the things. That's not always how it works. But in this case, I feel like we got it up to the correct ratio. Wow, this looks like snow. It's kind of cool. This is so neat. Okay. So now it's time to put the stuff on my face. I'm actually wearing makeup right now so that I don't look as tired. But if you look at it, I have quite a few pores that are kind of just like clogged and stuff. This is what my nose looks like normally. It's very clogged, very pory. So this is before. And I'm even wearing makeup too, so that's really bad. So let's go ahead and put this on. Oh my god. How do they get this to stick on their face? Uh, <laughs> what? 
the heck even? Okay, come on. I believe you could stay on there. <laughs> Okay, not bad. We got this stuff. I'm getting this everywhere. Okay, now stay on there. Ah, it fell off. Come on. Okay, it looks good. How long am I supposed to leave this on for? And then I get a toothbrush and I just kind of scrub it. Oh, just lightly scrub it. Don't want to agitate my skin. Oh, yeah. My nose definitely feels way cleaner. Oh, man. Maybe uh, dab some more of that on there. Oh, yeah. This is going to take off all my makeup. <laughs> I feel like my face is gonna look worse. Oh man, yep, oh yeah. Get all in there. Okay, I'm gonna go wash my face off now and uh, I'll show you guys the results. <laughs> Okay, uh, and here we are. Wow, my face is really red. So as you can see, it took off all my makeup, so it's probably not a very good comparison. But I mean, how are my pores looking? Skin's very red. It doesn't look like it really did all that much, if I'm being totally honest. Yeah, this is kind of how my skin looked before. Oh my gosh. Yep, there's my scar. That's a scar that I got when I was like five years old. Oh man. So I'm gonna say that this one doesn't really work that great for me. It might work for someone else, but it didn't work very well for me. <laughs> Okay, so I've actually done this one before, but I'm pretty sure I used the wrong kind of chocolate. So this time, we're gonna go ahead and use meltable chocolate. Um, this is actually baking chocolate, as it says right there. I I'm pretty confident it's actually gonna work this time. Okay, so we got our boiling water. Let's put the pan inside so we don't actually burn the chocolate. Then we just go ahead and drop some of this chocolate in there. This chocolate was actually kinda harder to break than I thought. Uh, look at that. I'm actually struggling to do this. It's like, boom, these are such big pieces of chocolate. Okay, now we're just gonna go ahead and wait for these to melt a little bit. Put another one in there for just for safety. There you go. Wow, look how freaking glorious this looks. This looks so good. Oh my gosh. Okay, and this looks like it's fully melted and uh, all good to go. As you can tell by my voice not being in sync, uh, I had problems with the microphone still. So uh, here's me saying a bunch of words. I forgot what I said. I walked away from the camera. And now the Coke bottle's all by itself. Yay. Okay, so here's me uh, putting the chocolate in the Coke bottle. Looks like it's going in pretty easily. Not bad, there's a lot of chocolate in there. Then we're gonna go ahead and mix it all up in the bottle, um, make sure it hits all the surfaces. And it's, uh, it, it, it looks like it's, it's going pretty evenly. It kind of scared me how the chocolate had different colors all around it. It kind of marbled a little bit, but I'm pretty sure it'll be fine. I ended up just kind of moving the chocolate around uh, for like 10 minutes uh, because I wanted to make sure that it was spread evenly and it didn't just have a giant clump of chocolate in the middle. Okay, and uh, this is right where I put it in the fridge. So I will see you guys in about an hour. Okay, and uh, the audio is back. Man, I feel so dumb for not plugging my microphone in all the way. Oh my God. Okay, so it's nice and frozen. Now time to cut this baby out. Here we go. Maybe if I open the cap first. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's definitely solid chocolate. Okay, now cut it like this. Keep going. Is that gonna cut it out? Is that cut out? I believe in you, chocolate. You can escape. Come on, keep going. Come on, be free. I'm trying really hard not to break the chocolate at all. I'm pretty sure it's already way better than Tori's. No offense to Tori. I know she can hear me right now. Oh, it came off! Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's not bad so far. It's almost out. You can do it. Please don't break on me. Please don't break on me. And... Woo! We got it! It is free! I got chocolate all over my hands now, but it's fine. It is good. Oh my gosh. Let's put the little cap on that. <laughs> It looks a little funny with the cap on, but it looks like it's actually working. I put the label on. Aha! I need some tape. Okay, tape this on. Oh my gosh. I did it! I got a freaking Coke bottle made out of chocolate! I did it! I don't think it's hollow though. Uh, that might be a big problem. So we're just gonna cut the tip off and see if that will fix anything. Oh, sick! It's actually hollow inside. That looks a little, uh, nope, it still looks weird. Mmm! <laughs> Not bad! Some good chocolate! I'm gonna go ahead and try and put some of these M&Ms in there. Okay, here we go. Oh, I'm gonna have to do one at a time. Oh, no. These M&Ms actually say Robbie Epic Sauce and Tori on them. Thank you so much to the person who gave these to me. You know who you are. Okay, it's gonna take a while to put them in one at a time, but I'm sure it'll be worth it. Oh, man. Dude, they are so, this is gonna take so long. Okay guys, now it's time to show Tori. <laughs> Tori, 
Come um, check out this thing that I did that you couldn't do. I'm such a good boyfriend. I know. Tori Dabransky. Look at what I did. You actually did it. Right? I did it. I actually made it. Oh my god, that's so cool. It turned out so good. I know. Who would have thought after using the proper chocolate for it? <laughs> It turned out so nice. Aww. Isn't that so cool? That's so cool. You actually filled it with all. And I filled it with little Evan up. You even filled it with it. Do you want to break it open? Oh my god. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna film you break it. I'm sorry. I, I don't. I really don't want to break it open though. It looks so cool. How about I give you a little hammer? Here you go to break it open. Oh, oh god. Okay, that's, that's okay. Tori. Okay, it's dead, Tori. Hey, it's dead. Stop! You're, ki you, you're killing him. You're killing him. He's already dead. This is really fun, though. I really like it. I like my shirt. Hey, that's my shirt. You guys can buy that shirt down in the description down below if you guys really want one. By the way, it's good chocolate. Yeah, it's pretty good. I approve. You guys, you can say it works. one that I always wondered if it actually worked. I'm pretty sure it does, but I could be completely wrong. So we got our two warm monsters. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure it's warm with this thermometer. Perfect. Okay, so it says here that the monster can 138 degrees. Is that a sticker? <laughs> it's a sticker! Okay, press the button. It's not working. What the heck? I think I broke it. Is the battery not incorrect? What the frick is going on? It turned on. <gasps> it's working! Woo! I got it to work! So it says here that I am... I'm gonna see if I have a fever. It's still going up. Almost there. 97.3 degrees. Oh man, that was actually kind of sharp. Okay, let's see what temperature these cans are. 84.2, 83.8. Maybe I have to open them up first. Well, this is a complete waste because it's 11 o'clock at night. What's this one at? 80.6. Okay, so we're gonna say they're both at about 80 degrees. Okay, get our water, get our towel thing. Okay, get that nice and wet. Now we're gonna put it on the monster can, all around it. We're gonna do another one just for good measure. There we go, perfect. Okay, so now I'm gonna go and put these in my mini fridge. Okay, and the first one, and the second one. Okay guys, I'll see you later. I'm gonna go ahead and set a timer. Okay, five minutes. Okay, I'll see you guys then. Looks like we're good. Okay, how are we doing? Ooh, kind of cold to the touch. Not very cold to the touch. Okay, let's see how cold these are. Here we go. Ugh, okay, let's see how cold this bad boy is. Ooh, that's kind of cold. Also a little gross. Okay, so the one that didn't have a napkin on it is 75 degrees. So it went down five degrees. Uh, let's see how cold this one got. 74. <gasps> what? It went down nine degrees. Woo! So I guess we can say it works. What do I do with these monsters now? It's like 11 p.m. Oh well. Oh, that's a warm one. Oh yeah, that's better. <laughs> Okay, so this one seems pretty simple, pretty subtle. Unfortunately, I don't have a normal kind of door where it just locks and then it does that. What is up with this echo? Oh my god. Hello! I'm in a cave! Someone help me! Okay guys, please ignore that echo. This is freaking crazy. Maybe if I open this door? Anyway, that's what my door does. It automatically closes. So I guess what we'll try and do is see if it'll stop it from closing. So here are our rubber bands. Here's a nice thick and big one. Put it over like this. And we're gonna cross it over like that. And then I don't really know how I'm gonna do this part. Maybe like that. Oh, I think it might be stopping it. Oh, it got stuck. I think it might actually be working. Is it freaking working? Can I close the door still? Oh, oh my gosh, it actually worked. So we'll try it again. I just closed the lock. Close that. Now we just gotta wait for it to try and close again. It usually does it within 30 seconds. Oh. Did it close? Oh. We're able to open the door. It actually works. What? So I guess we can say it works. Man, zip ties sure are a wonder, aren't they? Honestly, what can't they do? See this guy? This guy's uh, this guy's broken right here. So we're just gonna put that through. And uh, boom, we got ourselves a new thing. Except it slips right out. So what am I supposed to do with that? Uh, maybe get some pliers. Okay, come back, got this. Ha ha, woo, we now have a new zipper. So we're just gonna snip the tip, round that off a little bit. Yeah, I definitely don't feel like I'm gonna cut myself on this at all. We have to do the zip test. I guess we can say it works. Okay, so this seems like a really interesting one. We got our Sharpie, we got our lighter. 
Let's go ahead and light this on fire and see if it stays. Holy crap, it's actually working. How? It's kind of melting the actual Sharpie part though, uh, which is a little scary. Dude, that's actually really cool how it's staying lit like that. As you can see though, it is melting the tip. I'm gonna go ahead and put this out. Oh man. And apparently I can still write with this, so let's try it. Okay, here we go. Oh no, that is not a good sign. Okay. Oh, whoo, that is very crispy. Uh, it's not looking very good, guys. I think it might have messed up the Sharpie really bad. Well, that was a waste of a perfectly good Sharpie. So I guess this one kind of works. It like half works. The first part worked, but the second part didn't work. So I guess I'm gonna say it kind of worked. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so here are my hands. I still have some nail polish from the last time I painted them. These black nail polish in there, so I'm gonna go ahead and use white for mine. So here we go, mix, mix, mix. Gotta paint my nails real good. I am the best nail painter there ever was. Look how good I'm doing my nails. I am the best nail painter ever. Uh, uh, look at, ah, oh, no, I got too much. What do I do if I get too much nail polish? How the heck do I fix this? Five minute crafts, help me. I need your help. I can't do this on my own. I'm like a 24 year old man child. Oh, it looks like uh, some of my nail polish from my last nail job is kind of mixing with the white. That's not good. Boop. Yeah, oh my God, I got too much on there. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now let's go ahead and bring in our cornstarch. I probably should have opened this before uh, I started filming this, but you know, you live and learn. Then we're just gonna put our fingers in one at a time. Just kind of get it around there, mix it up real good. Now my whole finger is white. Perfect. So apparently I just do this and it instantly dries off. So I'm gonna go ahead and blow this off. Maybe that'll work, I don't know. I don't have a brush to like brush them off. Did that work? I can't really tell. I mean, my fingernails are white. I don't know. I think it kind of worked. They're not really dry dry. Oh, they are kind of dry dry. Well, uh, I guess we're gonna have to say this work. Okay, so here's our cup. First thing we're gonna put in, detergent. Just a little bit of that. Okay, next, I'm actually gonna go ahead and make some water in this bowl. Now, just a little bit of food coloring so we can tell the difference between uh, the detergent and the actual water. Mix, mix, mix. Looks good. Put that there. So far, it doesn't look like it's really uh, changing. It just kind of turned into one black mass. I'll be right back. Here's our vegetable oil. Put that in there. Okay, that's kind of separating. I don't know if you can see that or not. I don't drink alcohol, so I can't add alcohol to this, but I have baby oil, so I'm gonna add some of that. And it looks like we have some weird looking concoction. I'm gonna mix it up. This is probably a bad idea. Okay, let's see how long that takes to separate or if it will ever separate. I don't know, I'm just gonna leave this here for a sec. Okay, so I'm looking at it. It looks like there is a little bit of separation. Uh, I think we have to wait just a little bit longer. I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit for a little bit longer and uh, see if all this separates. I really hope it does, otherwise this was kind of a bit of a waste of time. But we'll see, I'll see you in a sec, guys. Okay, it's been five minutes, how are we looking? Yep, uh, exactly how I thought. It didn't work at all. So I guess this whole thing's a lie, guys, and it doesn't work. <laughs> Okay, so I just want to say this one, kind of ridiculous. <laughs> so here's our water bottle. Let's go ahead and cut a face hole for this bad boy. Just gotta... Okay, here we go. Come on, we can do it. Okay, yeah, this one feels a little bit ridiculous. I think I need a little bit more space up here. A little bit more. Okay, maybe that'll work. This part kind of hurts my chin. Come on. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that one seems to fit. And we're gonna get a tape. It says we're supposed to use insulating tape, but this is kind of the only one I have, so I guess we'll have to make do. Gonna line this with tape so it doesn't hurt my face. There we go. Aha! There we go. Then we're supposed to take this bad boy off and fill it with cotton balls. I think just one should do fine. Put this thing on there. Oh, I was supposed to poke holes actually. Good enough. Two holes. That's all we need. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is gonna work. I feel like I did this completely wrong. Yeah, there we go. Then we gotta do like a mouth cover thing. So I'm gonna use this. And I'm just gonna duct tape it to my face. Cut it like that. One piece of duct tape. And two piece of duct tape. Oh my gosh. Well, let's go ahead and put this on my face, I guess. Okay, here we go. Gonna put this over here. Yeah. And then this one. Oh, it's covered my eyes. This one over here. I definitely feel more protected already. Maybe I should put like even more tape. Tape it underneath my chin. There we go. Yeah. Now I'm gonna tape it to my face even more right here. Yeah. There we go. Oh, I got it on my eye. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about this. So, now time to put this thing on my face. 
This smells so weird. I can't breathe very well in there. Okay, I just want to say I feel like this is very dangerous. I can't breathe very well. Woo! Okay, I'm gonna spray something before I pass out. Okay, now let's see if I can smell this. Well, I can't smell anything. Well, I guess we're gonna have to say it this way. Wait. So the first thing we're gonna need are some bowls. Take the little one out. Then we're gonna get an army mat. Yeah, there we go. Just kind of line them all nice. This whole thing's a little bit morbid if you really think about it, but who am I to critique the master genius that is five minute crafts? Gotta get some more. Just gotta make sure that this lines up. Oh, there's none on the bottom now. Uh-oh, maybe that'll do it. I feel like this is gonna be such a big waste of army men. Did anyone else play with these when they were a kid? I know that I used to just like shoot them with my slingshot. I just have to make it bowl like. Guys, come on, think as one, think as a bowl. I think I might have done this wrong. Okay, I'm sorry though. So they lined it with the bottom like that. Now I'm supposed to just fill in all the cracks. Dude, this is so morbid. <laughs> yeah, this looks good. Now it's time to make my whole house smell like burnt plastic. Okay, let's preset the oven. They didn't tell us an exact temperature, so I'm just gonna do the magic number, 350. Okay, pop this bad boy into the oven. You be good. How the heck am I supposed to know when it's done when my whole house smells like plastic? Okay, so it's been about two minutes and I'm kind of scared that this is gonna burn down my house. Are you melted yet? Nope. These guys aren't melting, so I'm gonna go ahead and bump it up to 450. Okay, I think we should be good. Go ahead and take these guys out. Please don't hurt my hand. Oh my gosh, yeah, those are definitely melted. I'm gonna go ahead and let these sit for a while and cool down, that way they don't burn me when I touch them. Oh, shit. see you guys in a sec. Okay, so I let these guys cool for a little bit and it looks like they didn't really stick. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put them in the oven a little bit longer. Maybe we'll try like 500? I don't know, maybe that'll work. Like I said, let's hope I don't burn my house down. Okay, last try, let's take these bad boys out. They started smoking earlier and I was like, that's probably not good. Ugh. Once again, we're gonna let these bad boys cool and maybe uh, it'll work this time, I don't know. That's my alarm telling me it's done. And I took it out because I started smelling smoke and I saw smoke and I was like, nope, not doing that. Stop! Dang it! Thank you. Okay, I will return with these guys cool. So I let this guy cool down a little bit. Let's see if it actually works. Mind you, this was kind of smoking when I took it out. Oh man. Oh, okay. Nope, uh, that's not good. There are some chunks that actually, no, these all just kind of break apart really easily. Dang, why did these break apart so easy? I guess these guys kind of melted together. Maybe if I melted them together longer, but I was just scared that I just didn't want to burn down my house. I don't know, I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. It's also very impractical. I pretty much just wasted a whole bowl. Well, it's not that bad. Okay, so it looks like we start off with some parchment paper. Don't need that. Okay, it looks good. Then we need to cut it down to size. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that'll fit in my mouth. Then who would have guessed that toothpaste would make your teeth whiter? Who would have known? Next, we're gonna get some baking soda. Oh man, that's a lot. I'm just gonna pour it on there. I'm gonna try to put that back, actually. I did not mean to pour out that much baking soda. Then you just kind of rub it all together. Oh man, this is weird. I don't like this. Did I have to do it like this? Like, do we have to do it with our fingers? Is that a requirement? If I don't do it with my fingers, is it not gonna work? These are the real questions I need to know. Oh man, uh, gross. Yeah, it looks like they did more of a smearing motion like this. Like, they kind of smeared it. Like they just kind of rubbed it. Puts more of this sweet, sweet white powder on. This is probably gonna taste really bad. Uh, Dude, I hate having stuff on my hands. This is so gross. Uh, okay, I need to wash my hands off. Okay, hands are all clean. Uh, let's clean this up a little bit. <laughs> Perfect. Now I just have uh, baking soda all over the rest of my desk. But as long as you guys can't see it, that's all that really matters. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and put this monstrosity in my mouth. I think I may have made it a little too big. Uh, <gasps> oh, that is way too big for my face. Okay, we're gonna try it anyway. So, this is my teeth before. Yeah, there you go. Get a nice close-up of that. Okay, so this is my teeth before. Here you go. Oh man, I missed some parts of shaving and my lips are all chapped. I look so gross. Anyway, let's put this bad boy in. <laughs> this is way too big. Okay, I have to cut this down. I'm sorry. I was gonna put it in for comedic effect, but I don't think I can even manage it. It'll just look too ridiculous. Even this is too big. Baking soda tastes so weird. Oh, oh yeah, oh, 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 Okay, let's see how these bad boys look. Okay, so this is my teeth before. Now this 
is the after. What do you guys think? Does it look any different? I think it looks a little bit wider personally. So I'm gonna go ahead and say it works. Here are our matches. Take some of these bad boys out. Put that away for later. They painted theirs a bunch of different fun colors, so I'm gonna do the same. Here's green, here's blue. Oh no, it blends in with the background. What should I do? And here's pink. And you know what? We're just gonna ditch these two guys because I don't wanna bother with them. I'm gonna go fill our bowl up with water. Okay, here's our water. Apparently we can just throw these in because they did it right after they painted them. Man, I really hope that this uh, doesn't cause them to not work. So we take these bad boys out and we just go ahead and do this. What's that? It's not working! Maybe this one? <gasps> this one actually worked! Oh my god! Guys! I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works! But only with green nail polish. You have to remember that one. <laughs> Okay, so here's our plate, here's our water. Oh man, what's inside my water bottle? That's so disgusting. That's gross. We're gonna go ahead and add some food coloring. We're gonna use blue, because that's what they use in the video. Mix it up. Yeah, that looks good. Now we're gonna get our candle, put it there. And we're gonna light this bad boy. Here we go. Now for the fun part. Is it gonna work? I don't know. Is it sucking it up? Oh my god, the water's actually going up. It's actually going up. What? Oh my gosh. It actually works. Oh my gosh. And we're gonna let it all out. <laughs> I feel like building that the science guy. So I guess we're gonna have to say this works. 